Hey you guys, welcome to today's video. We're going to be chatting about the Sephora fall sale. I'm going to be going over my top 14 recommendations with you all. They are all going to be makeup related. If you want to see skincare, let me know. I'm going to be going over the sale, the dates, and then what I would recommend. And then at the end, I'm also going to be doing some disclaimers as well. So be sure to stay tuned for that. If you are interested to see what I would recommend, go ahead and stay tuned. If you're new, smash the subscribe button, make sure your notifications are on. And yeah, let's go ahead and jump into the video. All right, I'm gonna be inserting the information up over here for you guys. I do have my MacBook out, so that's what I'm gonna be looking down at. The fall savings event that Sephora does, they do it every fall and they do it every spring. Uh, it goes in order from tiers to who gets to shop first. So for Rouge, the sale, the sale starts on October 28th, which is tomorrow. The sale ends on November 7th for everybody. So like I said, Rouge starts the 28th. Rouge gets 20% off. If you're unsure what tier you are, you can go to your app and it will tell you whether you're Rouge, VIB, or Insider. The VIB sale starts on November the 1st and those customers get 15% off. The insider sale starts on November the 3rd and those customers get 10% off. So you get 20, 15, and 10. And then if you purchase anything from the Sephora collection, those items are gonna be 30% off. So that is all the details on the sale. Like I mentioned, they do this every fall and every spring. Now I'm going to go into my favorite items from Sephora. And if I was wanting a discount, uh, these are the items that I would, you know, want to get on discount. So to start, the first item that I would highly recommend from Sephora is the Natasha My Dream Creamy Lipstick, you guys. I am quite literally so obsessed with this formula. It is very soft, emollient, comfortable. The shade is quite literally perfect on my skin tone. I'm also very obsessed with the packaging of this. Not only does it look quote unquote cool in my opinion, but it also feels very well done. Like it's sturdy. Uh, it feels like you know, you're paying $27 for it, but the component feels heavy, sturdy, uh, luxury, if you will. So I don't mind spending a little bit more on products that I know are high quality. And this one feels like high quality as well. So I love that. But this is just a uh, 12 for 12 for me. Oh, which I almost forgot. <laughs> The reason I'm doing my top 14, I was going to try to narrow it down to 10, but it just didn't work. So that's why we're doing 14. It, it is what it is. The next item is the Natasha Denona Biba Palette. This is so underrated to me. Uh, if you've been around on my channel, then you know mine is very well loved. It's just the color story is so perfect. It's versatile. Uh, the formulation is great, like beyond great, hands down, top two palettes in my collection. So if I was like, you know, wanting to pick something up while it was on sale, that would be one of those items just because while the formula is great and everything, I just don't, oh, I don't know if I could justify the price for it because you know, that is so much money. So this is one of those things that I would suggest on sale. But yeah, super great product, really loved, top in mind collection. You get a really nice diversity of colors. You get warm tones, cool tones, more orangey yellow tones. The shimmers aren't her um, special formula now, how she has those really sparkly ones. That's not what's in here, but I don't mind that. They're still beautiful, really everyday uh, wearable. I love them. This is literally, this is the palette that made me fall in love with Natasha Denona. So love this one. Next up is another product from Natasha Denona. This is the Glam 
face and eye palette. I have the light version of this. This is so underrated. I feel like no one talks about this, but it is so good, you guys. I love it. Like, I don't, I mean, the packaging, like, the reflectiveness, I'm not really into that, but it is so stinking good. And I'm going to tell you why. Because with these just, you know, five shadows, you can actually get a handful of different looks. And what I love about it is that it requires pretty much no thought at all. And I like that in the morning where I don't have to think about, oh, what I want to use, what I want to use. Well, I'm just, you know, this just makes it so much easier to do. And these shimmers are some of, in my opinion, the best that she's ever created. The formula is different on these. Like, I don't know. They are so sparkly, reflective, beautiful. I also am obsessed with this blush. The blush in this palette is absolutely gorgeous. And honestly, like, I love the shadows, but I love the blush almost more. Like, that's what really just uh, has me sucked in with this one. I love it. I don't use the um, highlight as much. It is very beautiful. I just don't really use a lot of powdered highlight, but be beautiful in her corner. Or if you want to highlight the brow bone, it would be really nice as well. I've just found, as you can tell, I've gotten a lot of use out of this palette. And no one really talks about it, which is crazy to me. Um, she does have a light and a dark version. I thought about getting the darker version just because I like the depth of the shadows, but I'm glad I got the light one because you do get a lot of depth in it, like more than I had in like thought because sometimes her palettes lack that for me, the depth and dimension, but not with this one. Like this, in my opinion, was a home freaking run. And no one talks about it. But I could literally use this palette every day. Like, it is so, so good. So, I highly recommend it. Next up, y'all know I could not skip this one. It's the Patrick Ta Major Dimensions Eyeshadow Palette. The original is still my favorite. Like, love it. Um, the mattes are super pigmented. They blend out beautifully. I really enjoy the creams when I want a more dark vampy look I don't experience creasing with the creams but I do set them with a different colored powdered shadow because I still am like creating a full look with them the shimmers are just I don't know if I call them shimmers but the toppers are really just something special and I know it looks like they have hard pan but they don't I wanted to point that out uh, they don't have hard pan they just give the lid the most yummy, wet look. Like, oh, I need to pull this out. <laughs> I'm going to leave it on my vanity, actually. Uh, but definitely, it's top two in my collection as well. Uh, this palette is just so easy to work with in my mind. And it's, that's what I like for, you know, every day is just what can I reach for? Create a really stunning look that's going to require, like, very little effort and that's what this is so absolute smash hit um if you guys if you guys want any um inspiration or you want to see how these products perform search them on my channel i know i've done a three looks one palette with the patrick ta i've done one with biba i don't think i can't remember if i've used this one or not on my channel um but a lot of these products have been featured so search them and you can find it if you want to see, you know, some real life tutorial action on those to help you decide that is available here. But yeah, this one I just cannot highly recommend enough. It's like one of those that like it slaps so hard that I can't quite put my finger on the right way to describe it for people to get it until they get it. And then they're like, oh, I get it. Like, you know what I mean? Uh, it's just, uh, it's so, so good in my opinion. My next recommendation, and I keep saying smash it, but like all of these are, like these are the top of the top in my collection, is the Nude Sticks uh, Matte Cream Bronzer in Bondi Bay. This is so good. 
I absolutely love the tone on me. It's warm, but it's not orange. I apply the stick directly to my face and it blends out like a dream, like a dream. It is so good. I could quite, honestly, I could probably get rid of almost all my other cream bronzers if I was able to keep this one in my collection. That's how good it is. It's the one that I always want to use. I always want to reach for. I know that it's foolproof, which is great, especially for a cream. I know I can just go in with it. And it's one of those products I can count on to look absolutely flawless. I cannot recommend it enough. I do hate that it has a brush on the end. I don't use that part of it, but I absolutely love this product, you guys. The next product is the Milk Makeup Matte Cream Bronzer Stick. I have the shade Baked. This one is a little bit more um, affordable. It's about $12 cheaper than the Nude Sticks one. So if you're looking for something uh, with a lower price point, this would be one of those. I have also fallen in love with this bronzer. Uh, it's, it's just, it's foolproof. And I love those kinds of products, you guys. It blends out so easily on the face. The tone, again, is just perfect on my skin tone. As you can see, I'm a fair light gal. Um, but it just brings like a warmth to the face that's not orangey or too warm. It's like perfect. I know I keep saying that, but it's a perfect tone. It doesn't blend out as easily as the Nude Sticks one, but close. If I would say blendability, the Nude Sticks one is easier, but this one doesn't require a ton of work either. It's not like I'm, you know, putting in the elbow grease. If so, then it would not be in my collection anymore. Uh, but if I if I had to pick one, I would pick the Nude Sticks one. But I think that this one is incredible as well. And I know I'm late to the game because literally everyone's tried it. But I only just recently tried it. And uh, I get the hype, okay? I get it. Next is a product from Dior. It's their Backstage Concealer. I wear the shade 2N and I have just fallen head over heels for this product. I'm actually kind of surprised that I haven't completely panned it yet because that's how much I've used it. But I also think that's good because it just shows how long this product is going to last. I love the brush on this. It, I wasn't sure how I would feel about it at first, but I really like it. I actually prefer it now over the doe foot. I love the way um, it just applies to the skin. It's like a beautiful paintbrush. Um, I enjoy this because it is full to medium coverage. It's not super drying. It's not too creamy. In my mind, it's that perfect like in between. The shade 2N is quite literally like perfect for me. Um, so I love that as well because I know sometimes with foundation and concealers, half the battle is just like... They don't have a shade for me, but they have a great shade for me in this range and I love it. This is one I see myself repurchasing when I finish my original one. It's hands down one of my favorite concealers in my collection. It is my favorite concealer in my collection. Um, Cause if I had to recommend one, like this would be the one. Next up, we have a product from Charlotte Tilbury. It is the luxury eyeshadow palette from the Pillow Talk collection. But this one is the Pillow Talk Dreams, which is a little bit of a darker version. It's described as a matte dusty rose with a matte berry brown. And then you have those two shimmers in there. You guys. <laughs> I don't know what I was expecting when I bought this. But I was not expecting what I got. And what I mean by that is I've never been so obsessed with a quad ever and never pictured myself being so obsessed. These two tones right here are perfect. Like quite literally, I can wear this by itself, this by itself, or pair these together. Like honestly, the shimmers in here are super pearlescent and sparkly. But the most looks I've done with this have been matte. I love the way that these matte shadows look on me. 
which is so crazy. I just think the way the tones play with my skin tone and play with my eye color, like next level it is so pretty and it's expensive. So that's what I'm saying. I would recommend it during a sale, but wow, 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 wow. And it just, they blend themselves. And this is one that I love to reach for. Like if I'm running late, because I can quite literally slap this all over my lid, put a little bit of this in the outer corner. I'm, I'm good. I'm in Gucci. Like it is so good. And that's, I feel like I just keep saying that over and over. Like I need to learn better descriptive words. I'm sorry, but it really is like, it's one of my favorite products in my collection. Next up, we have a primer. Uh, this is the Rare Beauty Illuminating Primer. And I picked this because it is divine. And I know everyone's on the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter or whatever, yada, yada. But this is more affordable than that. And look how glowy it is. Yeah, baby. And it doesn't really have a scent, which is a big home run for me as well but it is so glowy and that comes through the foundation. You can see that underneath coming through and it is so stinking beautiful. Um, yeah, I just, and this is so much more affordable than the Flawless Filter. This is another one that like no one really talks about. So I don't know if people just haven't tried it or what, but I think it is absolutely stunning and I love the glow that it gives my skin. All right, next up we have a product from Rose Ink. This is their Skin Enhance Luminous Tint Serum Foundation. Love this. Um, I've actually completely finished one component and now that I'm more on my winter shade, I'm going to start using the other component, but this is just divine. Um, it, oh man. Okay, I'm going to try for descriptive words. I put it on my hand and then I put it onto my face and the bubbles create the pigment and I literally just rub it around like this on my face and it gives you the most like, and I don't want to say the most luminous, but you have a subtle luminosity with it, but it dries down really nice and I find it to be long wearing as well. Like this was my jam in the summer. Like I would literally wear it all the time. Like I said, I finished one, but wow, it is so, so good, you guys. And it's just so lightweight, light coverage. Well, honestly, it feels lightweight, but I would say it's a medium coverage. Like you're not gonna see a bunch of imperfections like coming through, but you're not gonna look cakey either. It's a very, um thin consistency like I don't know it's just it's very um it's very innovative to my collection it's something that you know is like the only thing like that over here but yeah I just I can't highly recommend this enough it, I've been recommending it literally forever the next product is a little bit newer it's from Huda Beauty it is the glowish blur jam and it's a silicone free smoothing primer uh, this is newer to my collection and i've been trying it out over the past two weeks love it it is oh gosh all these products are so hard to describe um but like it is a thin gel like consistency but a little stiffer than a gel but the product is not stiff like when you get it onto the face it just melts in and it's almost cooling, um, but it creates a very beautiful pore filled blurring effect to the skin and you only need the tiniest amount, the tiniest amount. So it's going to last you quite literally forever. If you are looking for something to blur and fill those pores, this 100% is top of the tier. Highly recommend. The next product is uh, another bronzer. This one's from Huda, and this one is the Tantor Cream Bronzer. Beware, these run deep. I have the shade Fair in Borderline, and sometimes I feel like it might be too deep for me. I wish she had a lighter shade. 
but formulation wise this is so nice and this is a product that i really didn't love when i first tried it but i have come to love as i become more comfortable with it mostly just because of how effortless it is i just dip in with my brush and i paint it on it blends out absolutely beautifully i don't i don't have to work with it at all I do go in with a lighter hand because the shade's a little deep, which I wish, you know, that's one thing I would change. But realistically, this is just, it's such a good bronzer. Uh, notice I love cream bronzers, but yeah, I highly recommend this one. Plus it has so much product, like it's going to last you forever. Okay, you guys, so editing me here, I completely forgot one of the products. Uh, I must not have downloaded on my computer right, but it is the Natasha Denona Cheek Trio. I have been loving this. The blush formula is a little bit different. Um, it's stiffer than typical cream blushes, but it applies fine. Still beautifully. It blends out. It's a really nice, cool pink tone. Um, looks really great on the skin, in my opinion. I also love that shade in the middle. It's really innovated it's like a cream highlighter but it looks like wet on the skin and it's not sticky or anything like that and then the highlighter on the end is like a baked type of situation i've actually been using this pretty non-stop um i just think that it is so beautiful and i'm not even really like a face palette person uh but this is one that i would definitely recommend it is just mwah, chef's kiss the next and the last product that I would recommend from the sale is the Huda Nani Nude Eyeshadow Palette. I don't know why, but I feel like this picture on Sephora looks so like grainy and bad. Um, but this is what mine looks like. And I really like it because it gives you those like, not necessarily warm chocolatey vibes, but warm, deep mauve tones they're not like pink but they're those deeper tones of like mauve and purple which I really really like and you have some really cool flips with these marble shades and her freaking her shimmers are just so stunning you guys they're so sparkly they look gorgeous on the lid uh I just I love them and I was like you know if I had to recommend one Huda eyeshadow palette, which would it be? And it would 100% be this one. Uh, it's my favorite. And maybe that's just because, you know, it leans my preference with tones. I do have her other big palettes and I love them as well. Um, but this is the one that I reach for a lot. But yeah, super, super gorgeous. Her formula in the bigger palettes is really nice in my opinion. The mattes blend out beautifully. The shimmers are just top freaking notch. You get some flip shades. I don't like the Petri dish shade. I'm actually planning to use that up here pretty soon. I, I scrape it into a lotion and that way I, I've used it, but I didn't have to put it on my eye. It creases when I use it on my eye. But yeah, I just, I think that her formula is so good and I love it. Highly recommend. Now, that is all of the products that I wanted to recommend during the Sephora sale. I did just want to chat with you guys really quickly about some disclaimers, if you will. You can use the discount code on more than one order. So you can place several orders throughout the sale dates and it will still work. One of the things that I have learned is that with this sale code, you cannot stack it with anything else. So if you have some minis picked out or some trial sizes picked out that you get from like the offer section, you can't stack that with this order. If you have any other discount code, you can't stack it. If you have cash back on your Sephora credit card, you can't stack it, which is probably my biggest, biggest pet peeve. Um, you also cannot cash in your points for money off and stack it with this. So essentially you get the, you get the percentage off and that's quite literally it. You cannot use anything else with this discount code. 
And I just want to be clear about that because I was super frustrated about that the first year that I shopped at the sale. So that is the tea on that. I also just wanted to let you guys know to be mindful of the sales that independent brands are going to be having during this time. And, you know, Black Friday is also coming up in just a little over under a month. So just being cognizant of that, because realistically, I don't feel like if you're not rouge, I would not even bother to shop the, sh the shop the sale because the percentage off you get might cover taxes. It might not even cover that. Like it is so small that in my opinion, 10 to 15% off is not even worth it. And I think Sephora could do so much better. If you are rouge, I think that it is worth it for some items. Like I know during the spring sale, I stocked up on skincare and I bought some fragrance. I don't think I bought any makeup though because so many makeup brands will do independent sales. Like for example, Huda Beauty quite frequently will do 30% off sales. I've seen the Naughty Nude 30% off on multiple occasions, okay? So if you really want that palette, I would wait. But also if you prefer to purchase from Sephora, I get that as well. Um, they have, you know, a good return policy and everything like that. But I do know for a fact that Huda does 30% off. Um, the other one, Charlotte Tilbury typically will do sales um, during the Black Friday or just in general. But with her sales, a lot of the times those are bundle, like bundle items. You can't just pick individually what you want and it's 30% off. It's like, here's a bundle of things that Charlotte Tilbury picked and then you get 30% off. I don't like that. Um, so I know, but I know she does that. Patrick Ta, I cannot recall last year if he did any sales or not. If you know, leave it in the comments. Um, share with the share with the class so everybody can see. And then Natasha Denona, she typically does a Black Friday sale and it's usually pretty darn good. But a lot of her things again are bundles. So she'll bundle like two palettes or three palettes together and the deal is amazing. But if you have a lot of those palettes like you don't want the bundle. You just want the discount. So those are the ones that I know of. I don't know about like Rare or Rose Inc or Dior or anything like that. But before you like pull the trigger and pick something up, I would check the individual brand sites first because a lot of the times they will do sales in parallel with Sephora. So just keep that in mind. But yeah, that is all I have today. I hope that this video was helpful in some way, whether it be, you know, giving you the info on the sale, what I would recommend, and the disclaimers. If it was, please be sure to give this a big thumbs up before you leave. And thank you guys so, so much for watching. I cannot wait to see you in the next one. Bye!